Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Hey guys, I'm working the part. <laughs> oh, psych. We're really doing this again. You guys know that 15.9% of you aren't subscribed. Like, what's going on? It's so easy. And look, here's a clip right now if you don't believe me. Anyway. There's going to be a clip the entire part, probably. But anyway, you guys are going to have five seconds to like, subscribe, and comment down below, done it. If you... <sighs> Comment down below, like, subscribe in that five seconds, or you have bad luck for the rest of your life. Other than that, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and yeah, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to a new what if. And this what if might replace two of them. One it might replace is what if Naruto was the devil, and it will also replace what if Naruto had a corrupted soul. Maybe. Okay. This what if is what if Naruto made a deal with the devil, and we'll see how this works. But first things I want to few first few things I want to say is, go follow the people in my description. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get the five k followers on Instagram. I'm nowhere near. I don't even have a one k yet. So yeah, please go follow me there. And also, uh, I wanted to say that the like will be twenty likes for this. Anyway, let's jump right into this. As a child, Naruto was always belittled, picked on. <clears throat> <clears throat> and he just learned to accept, accept it. He couldn't stop it, and he couldn't make it any better. So instead... He made it work. And by making it work, Naruto lost part of him that made him who he is. The part that actually fought back. The part that wasn't afraid to be who he is. But by losing that, he gained something better. He gained a sense of reality. He gained a survival instinct. And he gained the knowledge that not everyone is born equal. But one day, the abuse just got too bad. And Naruto had enough. Of all the times he decided not to fight back, knowing it wasn't worth it. This one time, something nearly sort of compelled him. So guys, one of my my phone started ringing. Let me back up from the mic. It got really loud, didn't it? Yes, it sort of compelled him to fight back. And when he did, <clears throat> the villagers, who were partly drunk, sort of lost their self as well. Naruto stood up and dodged one of their attacks, which he didn't know how he was doing. It's almost like someone was controlling his body as well. And he punched one of them, breaking their nose. Naruto liked the feeling of giving them the pain that they dished out him. And before the others could do anything, Naruto was already stamping on the guy he just punched face, bloodying him. Then one of the other villagers grabbed his arm. Naruto got his left hand and punched him. Shocking the villagers, this wasn't weaker than his white... This wasn't weaker than his white right punch. And then they all just ganged up on him, grabbing him. And the people who, one of the guy who just got punched in the face started pummeling him Naruto. Punching him, punching him. And then he started laughing. He grabbed Naruto's head and slammed it into the wall and kept him doing it till he saw blood pouring. The other guy started realising that they was going too far, but the other but the guy doing it seemed to have lost his mind. He picked Naruto up and slammed him into the ground and started kicking his stomach. Naruto started coughing up blood. 
Before they could even try to get him off him, the other guard already stabbed Naruto with a kunai. And Naruto laid on the floor, nearly dead. At that same time, the third Okage showed up. And he thought they killed Naruto. Naruto was basically a son to him at this point. As he promised him to protect him to Minato. And the third Okage just started beating on them. And told them they're exiled from the village for murder. They were grunted and said he's a demon. Why are you protecting him? And at that moment the third Okage lost it. And hit, them with, and hit one of them with a staff. Breaking three of their bones. And they ran out of the village. Jiraiya, the third Okage leaned, leaned down to Naruto crying until he felt a pulse and he picked Naruto up and in a flash he appeared in the hospital and he got Naruto the best help he could. But in Naruto's sleep, someone visited him. And as he was in his mind exploring, he just vanished into a black void. And he felt heat all around him until he heard a voice. <laughs> you must be the infamous Naruto Uzumaki. Tell me, what is it that you desire? Naruto says, what? who are you? The voice tells him not to worry about that. But Naruto refused to answer the question until he learns at least his name. The shadowy figure says, My name is Lucifer Morningstar and the ruler of hell. And I'm here to make a deal with you. Do you accept? Naruto said, Wait a minute, what do you mean, deal? And Lucifer says, Oh, well, you see, the deal will be. I'm not going to put a voice change on for this one so you can understand it. The deal will be, I will give you power if you let if you let me pour my power into you. As believe it or not, my power limit is slowly overflowing. And also, I'm getting quite bored here in hell. And after says, wait, we're in hell? And he just says, yes, but you can't see at the moment as I don't want you to gouge your eyes out. But the deal is, after... When you die, I want you to rule hell my place, or at least become the, or if that's not good enough for you just rule in hell, you become the king of hell. Ruling and becoming the king is different. Ruler means you just command everyone, but becoming the king of hell grants you all my power, and I keep mine, you basically become another devil. And to be fair, you could just do what I'm doing right now and get someone else to do the job for you. Naruto takes a moment to think about this and says, Okay, and what do you, what else do I have to give you? Do I have to give you my soul? L L Lucifer laughs and says, No, we're just gonna half souls. I take half of your soul, you take half of mine. As that's the only way I can channel power through you, and the only way you can keep up your end of the deal by ruling hell. And also, once I do this, you can actually survive in hell. So you can come to hell whenever you want. You can open portals to it even. Naruto just takes a moment to think and says, Does that mean people finally respect me? And can I give them back all the pain they gave me? The voice laughs. <laughs> yes, Naruto. Yes, they can. And Naruto says, Fine then, deal. And Lucy the defending then informs Naruto that the process will be highly painful. But after the process is done, he will gain ability such as super healing, and all his injuries that he has now that he might have had for chance to die from will heal in a few seconds. Naruto agrees, and after excruciating pain of screaming later, Naruto opens his eyes, and he sees he's in the hospital, but then he gets dragged back into the void. His eyes are closed, or he just has a feeling he should close them, as he doesn't want to gouge them out just in case it didn't work. Lucifer, Lucifer said, While well, you've gained some of my healing powers, the true perks will only come in a few years. As the only way to unlock all my all the main powers instantly would have to be a perfect awakening, and that's when one of your eyes have turned red, but still keep your black pupil. 
And that's never happened. Not since the creation of time. Wait, why are your eyes closed? You can survive here now. And now Charlie opens his eyes. And Lucifer says... Oh my god. And he starts laughing like, Yeah, Dad, I said your name. And he says, You're, you're a perfect awakening. Naruto. Okay, I guess you need to stay here for a little while longer so I can explain your powers to you. First thing I'd like to say, with your one eye red, it will stay like that forever, sorry. That represents my half of the soul in you. But secondly, when you're using my powers, your other eye will turn red as well. But you can still use my powers now with only one eye, but it'll be weaker than the full extent. Also, you're gonna notice that you're starting to lack emotion a bit. That's not all your emotion as the devil thrives on emotion, why would I lose mine? But you just have a bit less, so you have a bit more self-control. But, don't worry, control's overrated. Remember them words, Naruto. But anyway, move, moving on. You have increased strength, devil wings, the ability to control the minds, and more powers that you will discover over time, As and even some powers will be unique to you that I don't have, and that's a chance for you to become even a greater ruler, king of hell than I was. So anyway, I'm always going to be here now since half of me's in you. Haha, <laughs> gay. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to say it. And half of you's in me, so we can contact each other whenever. And also, you can make portals to hell, but I'd recommend learning some of your other parts before you do that, because everyone's going to be curious about you. Considering you basically are already your king of hell. Considering the powers you have and your perfect awakening. I wasn't even a perfect awakening when my father gave me my powers. He had to bend the rules to make me a perfect awakening. And now it just says thank you. The nurse rushes in to heal Naruto, like change Naruto's bandages, until Naruto jumps up. And he can feel a strange power in him. And he hears a voice in his head, saying, <laughs> Hey Naruto, time to show off a bit. Use a little bit of your power in you and force it out through the bandages and watch. Naruto does this, and the bandages that's on him explode off as he radiates some power. And the nurse looks at how Naruto went from being a little kid to a bath and he's got a bit taller. Keep in mind, Naruto's about six right now. And... <clears throat> The third Akagi hears of this and calls Naruto to his office. And he says, Naruto, your eye, what happened to it? And Naruto says, that's none of your business, old man. The third Akagi says, rude, but okay. Anyway, I'm sorry about what happened to you. The people who hit, hurt you have been banished from the leaf village. Naruto's voice changes a bit and he says, Banished? You banish them? Bring them back now! Dead Rakaka asks why, and Naruto starts laughing. Because <laughs> I want to kill them myself. Sorry about the beeping, that's me activating the voice changer. I'll try to fix that. And the third Okage says, What? N Naruto, what's going on with you? He moves at quite a fast speed and grabs Naruto's shoulder. And the voice echoes throughout Naruto's head, saying self controls overrated, and his eyes f glow even more. He grabs the third Okage's wrist and chucks him into his guest and says, Don't touch me! I'm a being far above you now. You didn't want to help me before, but now you want to? Huh. Found that funny, don't you? Well, I don't need your help anymore, so I guess this is a goodbye. Naruto walks out of Third Okage's office, just to be followed by Anbu. Naruto's arm guts flowing with power, and he looks at his fist, the dark, dark flames around it. And he chucks it at the Anbu members, and it burns them badly, sending them flying through into the Hokage's office, where he manages to put out the flames. And he looks at Naruto's hand, seeing the blacky, reddy, blackish red flames on it, and he says, Naruto, what's happened? But before you can say anything else, Naruto disappears in a red flash. 
Naruto's talking to Lucifer and he says, Was that one of my powers? That was sick. Oh no, sorry guys, I didn't mean to activate that voice. And Lucifer says to him, Yeah, that was one of your powers. I didn't expect you to awaken all of them like that so quickly, but I guess it doesn't hurt, does it? And as Naruto's walking, he walks past Sasuke, who gives him a death stare. Naruto's had enough, but he has a bit more self-control now as he's gaining more control of his powers. And he tells Sasuke, wipe that look off his face before he does it for him. Sasuke turns around, shocked. Naruto's never stopped him like that before. He's only made cheeky remarks, never a threat. And he says, what was that, you useless Naruto? And he just starts laughing. Naruto just starts laughing, saying, you're gonna me useless. <laughs> at least... <laughs> at least I didn't just watch my entire clan get slaughtered. I didn't do nothing, just stood there and shivered. Naruto has gained a lot of knowledge after half his soul became the devil's. And Sasuke attacks Naruto, enraged. Naruto just grabs his leg and snaps it and carries him walking. And he turns around and says, You shouldn't mess with me, because if you mess with me, you're messing with my family, my friends, and my conduit. Sasuke says, Conduit? And that's when Lucifer appears, but his, only his eyes are red and it's just completely black. And he, start, and he says to Sasuke, You shouldn't mess with him. I'm his family, friend and conduit. Anyway guys, I'm going to end it here. And I just realised you shouldn't mess with me because you're messing with my family was a song. I forgot completely. I hope I don't get copyrighted. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you share with friends and family. Follow me on Instagram. Follow the people in my description. And yeah, remember, if you follow me on Instagram and like my three posts, my three last posts, that's the only way to enter the giveaway. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out. Love you guys and girls and whatever gender you are. I don't judge. Peace.